great partridge are chunky game birds that we sometimes see here in Wintersheet County. Uh, they are smaller than a pheasant, but bigger than a quail. Uh, but again, they are a game bird, uh, so people do hunt them. Uh, by the way, the season for gray partridge typically runs from early October to the end of January. Uh, gray partridge like grassy habitats, and we'll uh, usually see them in uh, groups uh, called a covey of uh, six to eight individuals. Uh, beautiful birds here, kind of gray. Notice the orange on their face. They're not a native bird here in Iowa. They were uh, brought to this country, well, uh, from, from Hungary. So the old name uh, was Hungarian partridge, and sometimes hunters call them Huns. Uh, they were introduced into Iowa in 1905. Uh, the stronghold for the great partridge would be out in northwest Iowa, but we do have a few of these uh, neat little birds right here in northeast Iowa as well. This colorful little pumpkin seed is in the sunfish family and superficially resembles a bluegill, but there are some subtle differences. Uh, for one thing, notice the little blue lines radiating out and away uh, from its eye. Uh, but maybe the main difference between a pumpkin seed and the bluegill is that little red dot at the back edge of the gill flap there. Uh, bluegill will not have that little red dot. Pumpkin seeds are more of a northern fish than bluegills as well. You're not going to find pumpkin seeds in the southern states as a rule because they prefer uh, cooler uh, waters. They also like uh, lakes and ponds that have some good weed growth for them to hide in and also find food. Uh, but uh, the little pumpkin seeds are not as common as bluegills around here. But uh, if you're fishing in the Mississippi River or in a particular pond that, that would have them, uh, you may catch them, though you're more likely to catch pumpkin seeds when you go north into Minnesota or Wisconsin on vacation in the summer. This oblique banded leaf roller is a little moth uh, that is fairly common here in uh, Northeast Iowa. You can find them in the summertime. That is, if you can see them out there. Uh, this one is uh, pretty obvious because it's sitting on a green leaf, but notice the kind of the coloration there and the shape. They look a lot like a dead leaf. Uh, their their uh, wings kind of do look like they've been tied together uh, with a little dark oblique band. Uh, that wraps around uh, the back of the body, as you can see right there. The oblique banded leaf roller caterpillars feed on the leaves and sometimes even the develop developing fruits of uh, fruit trees around here, particularly apples and cherries. So they can be maybe somewhat of a pest in an orchard. Uh, but out in the woods where I found this one here, where they're eating uh, wild crab apples or uh, black cherries, that's no problem. 